Hi everybody, welcome to story time. This will be our virtual story time. It'll be every Wednesday at 2. We're going to have live in-person story time on Fridays at 10, 15 uh, a.m. Just keep an eye out on the weather and watch our Facebook page to see if there's any cancellations in that. But as long as the weather cooperates, we will be outside on the front lawn. We'll ask that everyone to and older wear a mask for it, just like I am now. And we'll also ask that um, you stay socially distanced, so about six feet apart from each other. Oops. There we go. So six feet apart from each other, we encourage um, if you come to bring a blanket or a lawn chair or something of that nature, otherwise you'll be in the grass and sometimes that's going to be a little bit wet. All right, we're going to begin story time the way we always do with Open Shut Them. And our theme today is flowers. Open shut them, open shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. All right, like I said, our theme today is flowers. And on my way to work today, I noticed outside the library in the back, there are daffodils blooming. So keep your eyes peeled for all those spring flowers coming out. Our first book is called Flowers Are Calling. And it's about flowers communicating with animals, even though they can't talk. Oops. The pages are a little stuck together. Flowers are calling. Words by Rita Gray. Pictures by Kendra Peck. Oh, Kennard Peck. Excuse me. Flowers are calling a little black bear. No, not a bear. He doesn't care. They're calling a butterfly to dip from the air. Flowers are calling a wet green frog. No, not a frog. She likes her soggy bog. They're calling a bumblebee to look near their log. Flowers are calling a porcupine. No, not a porcupine. She wouldn't take the time. They're calling a hummingbird to sip at their vine. So the flowers we've seen so far are Queen Anne's Lace, Monk's Hood, and Trumpet Honeysuckle. Flowers are calling a loud blue jay. No, not a jay. He wouldn't stay. They're calling a honeybee to fly their way. Flowers are calling a little moose. No, not a moose. What would be the use? They're calling a beetle to eat their pollen leaves. Flowers are calling a rabbit to stop not a rabbit. It's not their habit to call a rabbit. He might grab it. They're calling a bee fly to visit their spot. So let's see what flowers we've seen on the last couple pages. We saw an apple blossom. We saw magnolias and we saw violets. Flowers are calling a small brown snake. No, not a snake, for goodness sake. They're calling a pollen wasp for nectar to take. Flowers are calling a fat raccoon. No, not a raccoon. He doesn't care for white bloom or sweet perfume. They're calling a moth in the light of the moon. Ooh, flowers that open in moonlight. Flowers are calling a desert deer. No, not a deer, he can't even get near. They're calling a nectar bat to flap over here. And these flowers are blowout beard tongue. Sometimes flowers have funny names, don't they? Moonflower and Carolina, the Carolina Sphinx moth and Cardin Cactus. Cactus have prickly little spines and that's why the deer couldn't get near. Flowers are calling a busy wren. No, not a wren. He's already seen them. They're calling some children to look again. The end. So, keep an eye out, like I said, for flowers. You might see some like we saw in our book. You might see some that people planted in their yard and some growing in the wild. All right, we're going to do a little counting song with flowers. So, put your hands up. 
scooch myself this way so you can see a little better. We're gonna start with one, okay? So one finger. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten little flowers for spring. All right, let's try it one more time. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten little flowers for spring. Good job, my friends. Excuse me, I'm gonna fix my mask. It's coming down just a little bit. I wanna keep it over my nose. That's how I keep my germs to myself. All right, we're gonna stand up and do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And speaking of keeping our germs to ourselves, when I do the parts of my face, I'm going to point but not touch because I don't want the germs on my hands to get on my face. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Ears, and eyes, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. All right, let's do our days of the week. Sunday, Sunday, clap, clap, clap. Monday, Monday, tap your feet. Tap, tap, tap. Tuesday, Tuesday, hop on one foot. Hop, hop, hop. Wednesday, Wednesday, stop, stop, stop. Thursday, Thursday, jump, jump, jump. Friday, Friday, thump, thump. Saturday, Saturday, turn around. Now smile quietly and sit down. All right, it's time for our flannel board. And it's about, of course, flowers. So we have different flower here. We have a blue flower with a yellow center, a purple flower with an orange center, an all orange flower, an all yellow flower, You don't have the flowers at home, but you can use your fingers. Five fingers, like five flowers. Five spring flowers all in a row. The first one says, we need rain to grow. The second one says, oh yes, we need water. The third one says, it's getting hotter. Woo. The fourth one says, I see clouds in the sky. The fifth one says, I wonder why. Then boom went the thunder and crash went the lightning. The springtime storm was very frightening. But the flowers weren't worried, oh no, no, no. Because the rain helped them grow, grow, grow. All right, my friends, thanks for helping me at home. next book is called Planting a Rainbow. Flowers are cool for so many reasons, but one is that they come in all sorts of neat colors. And this is by Lois Ehlert. We're going to explore those colors. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. And some flowers come from bulbs like tulips and daffodils and crocuses. And some we plant from seed. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. And those are baby plants or baby flowers. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. And watch the rainbow grow. There's very few things in life as exciting as watching plants grow, at least for me. And grow and grow. We have some, what color? Red flowers. What's our next color? It is orange. We have some 
yellow blooms. What color is going to be next? We grow something green. And some, what color do we have here? Blue flowers. And some purple flowers too. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. All right. Time for shaker eggs. Grab your shaker eggs, pretend shaker eggs, scarves, maracas, whatever you want to use for our songs, and put them in the air. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake them here, shake them there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shakers. Reach up high. Shake them high and shake them low. Shake them yes, shake them no. Shake them high and shake them low. Shake your shakers. Shake it near, so hold it close. Shake it near and shake it far. Drive your shaker like a car. Shake it near and shake it far. Shake your shakers. Now our favorite part, we're going to go fast. So let's count to three first. One, two, three. Shake it far! And shake it slow. Shake it, stop, and shake it, go, shake it fast. And shake it slow. Shake your shakers. Shake it to the east. Shake it to the west. Shake it all around, and then you take a rest. Shake your shakers up. Shake your shakers down. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And then you settle down. Great job, everybody. Time for our last story. This one has pictures of beautiful flowers. Some you might see here and some you might see at other places around the world. And it's called Bloom Boom by April Pulley Sayre. Every spring across the land, Seeds sprout, stems pop out. Bloom, boom. Leaves emerge, stalks surge. Plants rise, shapes surprise. These are some flowers you might see in the woods around here in a few weeks. Bloom, boom. Bulbs send, tips extend. Bloom, boom. Do you know what these flowers are? They're called Tulips. Buds grow, blossoms show. Bloom, boom. Petals curve, insects swerve. Bloom, boom. Colors call, fragrance flies. Welcome birds and butterflies. Sun rays warm, flowers form, bloom, boom. The end. Okay, my friend.
friends, that's the end of our story time for today, but I'll be on again next Wednesday at two o'clock. And if you want, like I said, the weather looks good. So hopefully we'll be having in-person story time on the library lawn. So remember, wear your masks if you're two and over, bring a blanket or a lawn chair, something to sit on. And I hope to see you in person, which is so exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you too. All right, we're going to close the way we began with open, shut them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut 